Intelligence services for more than 100 years have recognized the desirability of having an unmanned aerial reconnaissance platform. And interestingly, the closest we probably came to it was during World War I when we strapped pigeons and cameras and put clock timers on them and we were able to send them out and they could recover pictures. The problem was, of course, that though we had great pictures of trenches, no one could register those pictures with the typography. We had no idea where they were. The Central Intelligence Agency in the 1970s began working on a project to provide a modern answer to the problem. And what they studied was as they looked in nature, they looked at the most desirable flight characteristics of insects. And one of the things they looked was the dragonfly. And the dragonfly was considered to be a stable, about a three inch long platform. It could fly in lots of different conditions. And it appeared to be strong enough to carry a sensor package. So one of their early developments was to create and a modern version of a dragonfly. The first example could fly a couple hundred yards, about 60 seconds of flight time, and it weighed about one gram. This is the KGB recreation of the insectopopter. What the CIA found was that though it worked, it was inherently unstable in crosswinds. So they were never able to actually employ it. But it was the first of a very successful generation of micro drones that have continued to be developed. And this is the Russian equivalent, is they tried to recreate and understand the CIA development.